Hey, it's Jacob here with the Pool Supply. Today we're gonna to go over the Zodiac MX-8. So this cleaner is pretty cool. It's been around now since I think 2012. Pretty cool cleaner. They actually uh, redesigned the entire cleaner ground up since when it first was launched in 2012. Um, so it's, they've, they've worked on it and they've, they've made it a really good cleaner, which is fantastic. So we highly recommend this pool cleaner, but here's the, the manufacturer's box. So obviously it's got some nice pretty pictures, some cell points on the side. Um, but let's dive into it and let's kind of show you what's inside the box. So I pre-cut it for you so you're not watching me open the box the entire video. So there we go. All right. So when you first open the box, warranty card, fill it out, send it to Zodiac. They will really appreciate it because it makes your warranty process a lot easier if something were to go bad with this cleaner. So then they have everything on file, your name, address, the whole nine yards. So and they can refer you to a local warranty station probably if something does go wrong with this cleaner. So now, to start, we got a goodie bag kit. We'll dive into that a little bit. Let's take this cleaner out of the box. So now, this guy. box on the ground. What I'm going to do take out a couple of these hoses. Uh oh, shaking cameras. Um, all right, so this box comes with 12 of these hoses. One of the hoses has a float on it and a flow regulator valve. We'll dive into what the flow regulator valve does in a little bit, but those two are pretty much, there's 12 of those in the box, which is fantastic because the MX6 comes with 10. So this is meant to be the bigger brother of the MX6. Um, this thing will do a lot of cleaning surface. It cleans from tire to tire, which is awesome. So really, really, really good cleaning surface on it. So right here is a little quick, quick start of how to tune in your suction and kind of get it all going. In my personal opinion, you don't need this because of the flow regulator valve. However, they put this on here if you don't have enough suction going to it. So if the cleaner's just going too slow, this little card will instruct you on how many revolutions per minute. This little yellow guy, what's it called? Wheel speed indicator. Wheel speed indicator um, right here will tell you, tell you how many times they wanna see that thing go around in a minute. So with the MX-8, pretty awesome. This is how you open the cleaner. No screwdrivers, no nothing to clean out debris. It's just a nice little quick tab right here. You press it down, open up, clean out any debris. You can actually see the cleaner going back and forth if there is anything else clogged in there. You can force it if you need to, if there's a rock stuck in there. Um, worst case scenario, if you have something real stubborn in there that you need to get out, you take out these four screws and these four screws, this whole assembly slides up and now you have access to every internal in the cleaner and you can completely clean out any debris that gets inside of that bad boy. So going over these uh, gears right here, you've got the side B on this side, side A, to, side A on this side. And right now what you got is these black ones. We highly, highly, highly recommend the black gears because what they did um, probably about a year or so ago, maybe, yeah, probably about a year ago. Right now it's November of 2018, so I'm roughing it right now. Everything prior to that was a gray gear. So they weren't the best, they failed quite often, but now that they released these ones that are black, it kind of lets you know, hey, we need to do a revision of the gear assemblies. They're awesome. They are not dying. They're really, really working, so you don't have to re repair or replace the cleaner so often anymore. So highly recommend if you have gray gears, make sure when you buy these, you buy these black ones. So really, really good, really, really good. Um, Overall though, yeah, this is your cleaner. I'm gonna move back and forth. So every time the wheels spin, it spins the engine. Stuff comes up the cleaner from down here up into your system through the hole back to the cleaner, back to your pump. Here's the bottom of the cleaner. So the way it works is these things are turning as everything moves on the inside. And then you actually hit a gear point where one wheel will stop. Let's see if I can get to it. Maybe not. <laughs> but 
Anyways, one will stop, and it'll start turning, and that's how the cleaner turns, rotates, backs up the whole nine yards. That's what your A and your B does. Kind of makes it to where the cleaner just doesn't go straight the whole time. So these are your turbine assemblies. They actually went, they spin very, very fast. So as you can see, I'm spinning right now. These tires are barely moving, so they go a lot faster than that in the water. So they're actually grabbing, and that's why the cleaning surface is from tire to tire, not just from like right here, like a lot of other cleaners. So pretty cool, it's ripping all the debris into the hole right here. If you, for some reason you have a lot of bigger debris in your pool, let's see if I can get this. This guy pops out, and now this thing will take palm fronds, small rocks, the whole nine yards. Pretty, pretty cool, um, highly recommend it. The only issue that you have when you take this guy out, this cleaner will no longer go off the walls, period. So it's gonna stick there at the corner of your pool and then back up, go somewhere else. So again, this cleaner, cleaners are meant to clean the floor of your pool, not necessarily the walls of your pool. Although it seems like more cleaners nowadays are cleaning the side walls of your pool, but that's what your pool and your brush are for. So anyway, so this thing, highly recommend if you have big stuff, take it off. That's your MX-8. Let's go over your goodie bag. Flow keeper valve. This actually, if you have this thing installed into your skimmer, you can actually readjust suction on here as well so you're not giving it too much suction. So you can have both skimmer suction and cleaner suction. Um, for some reason, you're giving it too much suction still to this cleaner. That's what your flow regulator valve is for. It's gonna actually reduce the suction to here. And this is the most important part of your pool cleaner because if too much suction is coming here, you actually start sucking from the side of this thing. So it actually prolongs the gears, the gear assemblies inside this cleaner to where you're not sucking too hard and actually ruining those gears on the inside. So flow regular valve, best thing ever. Float valve installed five and a half to six inches above the bottom of the hose. And this actually reduces the weight of the cleaner inside the water so that you're not just putting a lot of strain on the cleaner on the bottom of the floor. So again, longevity of all the parts on the inside of the pool cleaner. Very important that this hose floats installed. Very, very important this the flow regular valves installed. Here's your blue 45. We recommend if you have a sidewall suction for your cleaner, you're actually putting this in the wall with a back lock. So a back lock is a little flapper door that goes in the side of the wall, threads into the side of your wall, and it actually clips onto this little groove right here. And uh, if this thing were to pop out the wall, or you're gonna pull the hose cleaner, the cleaner hose out of the wall, the door will automatically shut to where you no know, hair, kids can't get stuck to it and all that stuff. So it's very, very good to put a, a back lock on there. This little guy goes inside your skimmer, um, push it down, and that's what all of this adapts to, to where you can use it out of your skimmer if you need to. So skimmers, a lot of new skimmers are two inch holes. So this thing actually has a tapered um, thing on it to where you can actually go inch and a half to two inch or whatever size fits your skimmer and this goes on top and you can put all your cleaner assembly and stuff on top of that to where you can use your skimmer white 45 again every pool is different every pool requires something different so a lot of pools do require this because again this can end up going on there or in the sidewall if necessary um so yeah this is your zodiac mx8 pretty nice cleaner it's been around for a while they've done some really cool updates to it uh, we highly recommend it. It's got a one-year warranty through Zodiac. So uh, thank you very much for watching ePool Supply. I'm Jacob. Subscribe today.